Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to another episode of Trout Spankings. On today's episode, we are fishing the same lake again, throwing the same spinner bait again, and probably catching the same damn bass we caught in the last three videos again. Today, we're going bass fishing. We're still trying to uh, break the PB of seven pounds. Fall transition might be one of the last opportunities to do it until next spring, so I'm out here. Every morning, I wake up with the conflict of should I go striper fishing or should I go trout fishing? And I always end up settling at going smallmouth and largemouth fishing. We are going to do something different in the next week, so stay tuned. Let's go try to spank some bass. That is a very good fish. And I was just friggin' dangling that spinnerbait right in front of the pipe and he frickin' nailed it. Destroyed it. That is a, oh yeah, just piss all over my backpack, dude. It's no problem. That is a long, skinny fish just for in here. They're usually, dude. Really, bro? You gonna pee on me? Four fourteen, four thirteen. Okay, skinny one, a little over nineteen inches. Oh, okay, good fish. It's a nice chunker. I mean, honestly, for in here, it's kind of a skinny fish, but that's still a good bass. You waving bye to me? You waving bye? Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Go get fat for the winter. Oh, that's a good fish to start the day and start the video. Hopefully it's not the last one. Very possible at this pond. Man, he was right at the edge. Yeah, probably won't catch another one at this spot at least. Might need to move to another spot. Maybe if I come back here in like 20 minutes, I might be able to, but usually once you catch one here, the rest kind of get turned off. All right, so before I move to the next spot, I just wanted to show you guys, there's a little pipe that comes out of the stream here. This stream comes from another pond. It spills out into this pond that I'm fishing right here. And he hit that spinnerbait right here where that moving water is, right by the edge of the cinder block that's underwater. He was just sitting right here waiting for one of these baby largemouth or baby smallmouth or the creek chubs that are in here to get washed out and snatch them up. And uh, yeah, he nailed that spinnerbait instead and got himself a new nose piercing, throat piercing. That's not even a thing, whatever. Next spot. another good one the old spinner bait this one got right in the corner of the mouth this might be the bigger one that's in those weeds i mean he might seem a lot bigger than he really is when he strikes at the uh, spinner bait on the surface at the edge of the weeds there but who knows there could still be a bigger one out there too all right guys that's a good one i'd say he's at least four pounds maybe four and a half nice fat fish Maybe pushing five. 
Who knows? Bubba, 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 bubba. Ow! Dang. Damn, he got me good with his friggin' spine. All right, guys, I'm not gonna bother weighing him. I'm just gonna let him go because he's uh, he's pretty feisty. There he goes. Second bass of the day. Not bad. He got me pretty good with that spine. Ouch. Mm, you son of a biscuit eater. Oh, shit. Thought I was stuck on bottom. Damn. I think when he hit it, he was running towards me. That's the, uh, the issue I had there. Doubt he'll bite again. That might be the big one. That might be the big one. Oh, that is definitely the same fish I caught before. <laughs> Never mind. It's still a cool deal. Oh my God. No way. Guys, <laughs> I did it again. All right, you guys, bass number four of the day. Not even sure if you guys can see that. Probably not. Nice one though. Another at least three pounder. All right, cool. All right, boils and goils. Day two, heading back out to the lake. Had a pretty good day yesterday. Conditions are the same today, overcast and a little bit windy. So hopefully it'll be another good day. If I look like I'm half asleep, it's because I am. I had to go outside at 3 in the morning yesterday and break up a cat fight between two strays that were in front of my car. Screeching and reeing. Woke up the whole damn house. That's my life. I need to start wearing this GoPro to bed with me because crazy stuff happens when I'm not even out fishing. But yeah, so that's where we're at. The lake's where we're going. The bass is what we're going to spank. Let's go get us some. All right, guys, might as well start off where we started off yesterday. Now, if you guys are wondering why I carry the fish all the way from over there to over here, this is a very narrow path. It sees a lot of foot traffic, a lot of people walk by, so it doesn't make sense to have my backpack sitting there. So that's why I do it. I know there'll be that one person that complains. tried to grab it. Oh, that was a very small bump that that fish made. Barely even felt it hit. Get the heck out. Pickle doinker. That way, I'm not going in the stream. Ah, oh, crap. He'll make his way out of there. I'm not worried about him. See, he already did. I'm more worried about getting my damn line out of this tree. Such is my life. All right, first fish of the day was a pickle doinker. Man, that was the weirdest friggin' hit. It was just like doop doop, like a, two quick taps. I've been getting a lot of short strikes lately, so I decided to set the hook right away, and uh, he was on. Little old pickle doinka. Haven't been catching as many of them. It used to, it used to be that that was the only freaking thing you caught in here. Now the bass are just everywhere. That was a mess. 
Not bad, a little two pounder, pound and a half maybe at the least. Just barely skin hooked in the corner of the mouth. <laughs> All right, first bass of the day, cool deal. Chunky little bubba, look at that. Just barely freaking skin hooked. Ooh. I mean, you would think with the overcast day that they would be out roaming, but they're still hugged up right against this cover. Another one. Get out of that tree, you son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Another little two, two and a half pounder, I'd say. Not bad. Good start to the day. I mean, met the first spot and I've already caught three fish in 10 minutes. That's, <laughs> that's spectacular for this pond, lake. Another cool little duder. About two and a half pounds, I'd say. He might be pushing three. But dude, look at his stomach, dude. That boy is fat. Bro, this dude needs to go on a keto diet or something. Look at his stomach, full of herring fry. Adios, amigo. All right, not a bad start. A pickerel and two bass in the first 10 minutes at the same spot. That's uh, pretty dang good for over here. Well, back at the pond after our coffee break. Just wanted to show you guys these cool looking clouds covering the sun. Those are uh, stratocumulus clouds. No, I'm joking. I have no idea what the hell kind of clouds they are. They look cool though. Let's go spank some bass. It was a smallmouth. I thought it might have been a smallmouth by the way it looked on the surface when it busted on them uh, herring fry. Try to grab them so I don't get hooks in me. Uh, that is an extremely scrawny smallmouth for his length, but better than nothing. Do I even have the camera on? Yes, good. Okay. Oh! Wasn't sure if I'd catch anything else today. The bite slowed down pretty significantly. I'd seen a bass swirl on the surface over here after some minnows, so started casting over here with the spinner bait, and boom, after a couple casts, he nailed it. Dude, that dragonfly under the tree is panicking. I don't think the herring fryer will eat it, but if a smallmouth comes through, that might eat it. All right, folks, good morning. We're down here for day three. Well, technically day four. I didn't go fishing yesterday because the wind was blowing almost 30 miles an hour and those trees falling in the road. So we're down here for day three of fishing. This is gonna be the final day. Tomorrow we will move on to either trout or striper fishing. I haven't decided which one yet. So hopefully today will be a good day. <laughs> hopefully. Be nice to break my PB, although I'm not getting my hopes up. Let's find out. I don't see any... Oh my God, look at all these herring fry. Holy crap. I'm not seeing much of the top weed that was here, like, yesterday. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. Oh my God, look at all these herring fry down here. That is insane. Oh my God, they're in the river too. Look at the herring fry trying to go up river. Oh my god, look at that, you guys. That is in frickin' sane. Holy smokes. Wow. Wow. Look at all those herring fry. 
You can see them really good in here. They've gotten a lot bigger since last time I uh, put a school this big on camera. the heck <laughs> hey look at that first bass of the day i thought it was a herring fry <laughs> oh my god that is the smallest bass i have ever caught out of here easily that is freaking hilarious look at that monster literally the smallest largemouth bass i have ever freaking caught oh looks like something got a piece of him look at his tail probably a pickerel go ahead bubba be safe try to survive become a monster Looks like a river herring with golden shiners mixed in. Probably a whole bunch of other fry in there too. I'm sure there's bass, pickerel, probably just all the small fish sticking together and trying to avoid getting eaten. You ain't gotta be quicker than the uh, fish that's trying to eat you. You just gotta be quicker than the fish around you. Oh, look at that. Look at that, they all jumped up onto the friggin' uh, cinder blocks. <coughs> Almost look like I'm in Hayden. I'm trying to flop back in up. Oh, there he goes. Oh, pickle dick. You smell. Bye. Now let's see if they want a different color. This has been the one they've been wanting. First good bass of the day. A little two and a half, maybe pushing three pounder. Cool deal. Big old fat belly on him for a little dude. Go eat those fry, buddy. Right in front of him. Look at him. He's going after him just after I released him. Got a perch? <laughs> yeah. Thought it was a walleye for a second. Probably the, yeah, I think that's the first time I've ever caught a perch on a spinner bait. <laughs> that's interesting. So day three is gonna turn into a multi-species deal, huh? This is kind of scary. <laughs> Look at them all. I believe some of these are golden shiners. I know some of them are baby bass, but I don't think they're all herring. I think they're mostly herring, but some of those are shiners too, because they look bigger and they're not baby bass. They're minnows. Huh? 
another pickerel. Fish. Oh my, he just coughed up. Oh, look at that. He just coughed up some herring. Now oh, that's kind of cool. Our uh, friend here just coughed up a couple of herring fry. I mean, not that we didn't know what they were eating, but that just kind of solidifies it. Probably the same one I caught earlier. <laughs> now let's take a look at that. Definitely herring fry that he just coughed up. They almost remind me of uh, Menhaden. We used to get in Florida, the snook and the redfish used to eat them. Just a little different, almost like a shad. Shad or a um, Menhaden. These are river herring though. Northern river herring, Atlantic river herring. I don't know. Cool deal though. That's what the bass and the pickerel are eating. Cool deal. Now let's feed the bass. All right, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. So quick recap, had a pretty decent week. Started off on the first day catching four largemouth, which isn't bad considering I only fished for two hours before sunset. Second day started off really good and then just went downhill from there. Day three, it was good. It was a ba mixed bag of emotions, put it that way. We got some good footage of the herring fry, caught a couple of bass, not very big, caught some pickerel, had one puke up some herring fry at me, so that was cool. Caught a perch, haven't put one of them on film in a while. <laughs> Saw a whole bunch of herring fry going from the little stream here into the pond right next to it. So that was pretty cool. Caught them all in the same spinnerbait that I've been catching them on pretty much for the last two weeks, which I know wasn't very interesting, but got a good strike right next to the pipe on film. Could actually see the big bass of um, the video come up and hit the spinner bait right next to the uh, right next to the shores. Did catch a couple on the black spinner. The first day, the first two bass I caught, I caught on the chartreuse one. I stopped getting bites, so I switched to a black one. Same spinner bait, just black and blue blades with a black and blue skirt. And I put the uh, Fat Albert grub on for a trailer and caught them on those. So kind of the same video I've been posting for the last couple weeks so i know it's getting boring it's getting boring for you getting boring for me and that's why tomorrow we're going saltwater fishing we're gonna go spank some stripers if you like the content please like subscribe hit the notification bell that's probably the best thing you can do to support the channel if you really want to support the channel yeah stay tuned because tomorrow we'll hopefully be spanking some stripers see you on the next one keep on spanking them <laughs>